turbine blade hooked up to a DC electric motor. and show you what it's reading. So right now what we're doing is we are 17 volts, 15 volts, it depends on the wind, but this is just a small four foot blade with a regular 180 volt DC motor. So with about 15 mile an hour winds, at ground level actually, this is producing a nice charging bolt. Now that is on an open, that's an open circuit, so there's really no load on it, but considering that this blade is really uh, too small for this, The reason for this video is to show that these motors can actually, because of their high quality, can actually be used as a pretty good generator. Now, one of the things about these motors is new, these motors probably cost in the area of four or five hundred dollars. This one I got used, I actually only paid thirty dollars for this one. This particular motor is a Leeson 180 volt, 1750 RPM, three and a half amp motor. And you'll notice that it produces, uh, you'd have to spin it at 1750 rpms and a lot of wind turbines claim to be able to do that realistically you're probably going to be looking at somewhere in the area of six or seven hundred rpms at a good height with a large enough blade to provide the torque but this would produce about 250 or 300 watts from this particular unit you can see that right now it's just barely spinning and we're getting three volts out of it All right, so I have this hooked up and we're only getting 14 volts. I've got it actually hooked to the grid tie inverter. We're getting a nice little turn on it. This, this is probably at about 100 RPMs right now. The wind's actually picking up now. We're up to 13 volts. Still not enough to trigger this thing. We're actually in a good section here. You can see that the big one is in a bad, that's really probably the worst area on our property for wind. So now we have a pretty good wind flow going on. Actually, the big one's going too. It's probably the best wind that we've had all day. And we are doing a massive 12, <laughs> doing 12 watts back into the grid. going. All right, now we are at 15 volts. It's actually, I can't. So if you're looking for a alternative to a generator for your wind turbine, higher quality DC permanent magnet motors around one half horsepower to one horsepower are a pretty good option. I wouldn't buy any of these new because they're, this motor's like four or five hundred bucks new, but you can snag these on eBay sometimes for 70 bucks. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.